Hey friends, here we are in section 2-4. We're looking at dividing rational numbers. So there's no vocabulary for this section and we're just going to get started. One thing we need to keep in mind though, this isn't really vocabulary, but you need to keep in mind that the word quotient means the answer to a division problem. Now, the beautiful thing about dividing integers or sign numbers in general is that if you have the same sign, um, the answer is going to be positive. And if you have different signs, the answer is going to be negative. Okay, so these rules are just the same for multiplication as I mentioned before. And also what you want to keep in mind is that this only refers to two numbers. So if I have two negative numbers that I am dividing, the answer will be positive. If I have two positive numbers that I'm dividing, the answer will be positive. If I have a negative number, sorry about that, I should be dividing, dividing, dividing. If I have a negative number and a positive number that I'm dividing, the answer is negative. If I have a positive number divided by a negative number, the answer is is negative different if the two numbers if the two numbers the two signs are different the answer is negative the two signs are the same the answer is positive yeah I'm sorry I had to pause it my children would just make them a little crazy so I'm getting myself together all right now that that is confirmed right let's do these problems so here with this first one over here I know 77 divided by 11 is 7 and the only thing I need to know is just that it's negative that's it, because the two signs are different. The answer is negative here. The two signs are the same. 51, it's like my favorite number. I've said this before, because 51 looks all prime, but it's not. It's really 3 times 17 is equal to 51. So that just makes me happy when I see it appear in a problem. I'm having happy moments now. The answer is 17, and it is positive. I could put a little plus sign or leave it as it is, because remember, when the signs are the same, the answer is positive. Let's take a look at the next example. We're going to simplify before dividing. So so here we're called to use our order of operations and we're going to do that then we're going to divide remember the fraction bar is a low key division symbol right it's it's a it's a division symbol that's what this is so we're going to um, and it's also in a sense like a bracket so we do what's at the top that's one set that's one part of the problem we do what's at the bottom simplify that and then we can do our work so let's go ahead let's deal with the numerator so negative 3 is being multiplied by the sum of negative 12 plus 8 and that's over this guy I'm just going to bring the denominator along for the ride so I got negative 3 times what well let's simplify what's in parentheses negative 12 plus 8 two different signs subtract take the sign of the higher I get eight, uh, 12 minus 8 is 4 and the higher number is uh, 12 so it's going to take that sign and so now that I've done that still carrying the denominator along for the ride negative 3 times negative 4 is going to give me a positive 12 right remember same sign when I multiply the answer is positive so not even going to bother putting the uh, positive symbol down because I think you guys are comfortable with that. Now I'm going to deal with the denominator. Let's simplify that. So I'm dealing with 7 plus a negative 5. I know that when I add two numbers with different signs, I subtract and take the sign of the higher. 7 minus 5 is 2, and 7 is a higher number, and it's positive. Therefore, I'm left with 2 in the denom. Now what I'll do is I'll do my division. A positive divided by a positive is a positive, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. So I get a positive 6, and that's what I got. Dividing rational numbers, example three, find each quotient. Here we are, we've got a large number, 240, 45, 245 and 66 hundredths. And we're going to divide that by a negative 14 and 2 tenths. And over here we've got some fractions. I'm actually going to do this out longhand, just for kicks and giggles, because I know you want to know. I know you want to see it. You don't want to use a calculator. No, you do not. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get started. First, let's just honor the fact that the answer to this is going to be negative. The two signs are different, therefore my answer is going to be negative. Now that that's out of the way, I'm actually now just going to divide 14.2 into 245.66. And I'm, I'm going over this because I know that we forget how to do this, so I just want to do it with you. All right, so 14.2 divided into this. When you divide um, numbers that are decimals, you want to make sure that your divisor, the homeboy sitting outside, is a whole number. And to do that, you can move the decimal point as many times as you need to to the right in order to make a whole number. And I just need to move it one time to the right. But in order to maintain equality, I need to do the same thing with the dividend. So now the equivalent problem that I'm going to create 
is dividing 142 into 2456.6. The answer to this is the same as the answer to this. Now I'm going to get started. 142 go into this bad boy, it will go one time. If it went twice, it would be like 284. So it can't do that, so it goes one time. So 142 comes down here. Subtract. When I subtract that, I get a 1, a 0, and a 3. You're not supposed to subtract that way. You're really supposed to do 5 minus 2 is 3, 0, and 1. Sorry, people. And then I get 1 over 3, and then I drop my 6 down, and then I ask myself how many times does 142 go into 1,036? And so I kind of have to guesstimate, think about it a little bit. But what I'm going to guess, like I'm thinking 14 goes into 100 um, about six times. So I'm kind of guessing six. One way you could do this is also to just go to the side and do a little bit of multiplication and see if it works and figure out if you need to go higher or lower. So I'll do that. So I'm guessing six. 142 times um, six is two down there carrier one. Six times four. 24, 25. Five down there carrier two. Six, seven, eight. And then I get 824. Should I go higher? I think I could have gone higher. So let's try seven. 142 times 7, 7 times 2, 4, carrier 1, 28, 29, 9 under carrier 2, 7, 8, 9. 994, that looks good. Maybe I could have gone even higher. Can you go even higher? Let's try that. 8 times 2, 6, 1, 8 times 4, 32, 33, 3 down there, carrier 3, 8 times 1 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 136. Dang, nabbit. So close yet so far. So it looks like 7 is the answer. 7 times 142 is going to be 994. When I do my subtraction, 6 times 4 is 2. Uh, borrow, borrow. I'm going to get 13 over here. This becomes a 9. 13. 9 minus 13 is 42. Drop your 6. See how far we can go now. Uh, does it go in there 4 times? Definitely not 4. Maybe 3. Let's try 3. But notice my decimal point is up there. 3 times that is going to give me 6. 3 times 4 gives me 12. 2 down there, carrier 1. 3 times 1 gives me 3, 4. And I have this. Wasn't that just enjoyable? Wasn't that enjoyable, us getting the answer by ourselves? Somebody's thinking, I could have did that in seconds with my calculator. I still love you for walking through this with me. Let's take a look at this guy. So we're going to divide a negative divided by a negative. Remember, the signs are uh, divided, divided by a positive. The signs are different. Your answer is negative. Let's go ahead and do our thing. When we divide fractions, here's the rule. If I have A over B divided by B, uh, let's say C over D. Let me try that again. A over B divided by C over D. My answer is going to be the same as A over B times the reciprocal D over C. So look at what we reciprocated. This guy changed and this changed. Notice that? We had some changes here. So what is in um, green changed to what is in red. All right. So we're going to do the same thing up here with our problem. So we have a neg um, we have two fifths, uh, negative two fifths, and we're going to change that to multiplication of the reciprocal four over one. And so notice the only thing that changes is the number after the division sign. And now it's uh, multiplication. So 2 times 4 is 8. 5 times 1 is 5. And I get a negative 8 fifths. If I'm feeling really fancy, I can divide 5 into 8, get 1 whole with a remainder of 3 over 5, and write it as um, the mixed number negative 1 and 3 fifths. That's it for today in our examples. Thank you for letting me go through some old school math. I hope this makes sense. Not too hard at all. Let me know if you have any questions and um, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Take care.